pieces each week here on Lego Masters on Fox 35. Well, now a local team of kids is using Legos to help build up their community. Fox 35's Esther Bowers shows us how a painting robot is creating masterpieces for a great cause. One, Lego. A love for Legos brought this group of kids together. I just like building Legos and I like kind of everything about Legos. But their desire to build and help others is what makes them a team. The Robot Rebels are part of the first Lego League. That's a STEM program for kids to embrace their inner builder. I'm part of the Robot Rebels because I love. I would like to be engin- um, an engineer when I grow up. It teaches kids to create and code a robot to do many different tasks. His name is Bob. A robot is about like four inches tall, and he um, like has a bulldozer that he can push down and push up and he can move around in circles and do a bunch of stuff. But this team is doing more than just building a bot that moves around. We all love eating and food and stuff like that and we kind of realize that not all kids get the privilege to eat. That's right. These elementary school builders decided to partner with the Children's Hunger Project in Brevard County. It's an awesome thing to see children wanting to help other children. Executive Director of the Children's Hunger Project, Cheryl Kaminsky, says they provide over 4,000 elementary school kids with food for the weekend. She says there is a big need for support from the community. $4.75 will take care of a child for uh, for a week, and it's $190 to take care of a child for the entire school year. So that breaks down to just $16 on a monthly basis. You might be asking, how are these baby builders planning to donate? Well, all roads lead back to Bob, the little robot who could. They were discussing all the things that they love. Food one. But second place was was art, and they love making art and everything, and they're like, I wonder if we can tie it together. The team put on Bob's armor made of tape, supplied him with a fresh coat of paint, and got to dreaming. We thought that if if we really like art, we could probably do we could probably teach Bob how to make art. I want to show you this. They coded Bob to channel his inner Bob Ross, creating different Lego-backed masterpieces. Those one-of-a-kind canvases are now on display at a local restaurant. Partnered up with Pizza Gallery to sell our art that our Bob made, and then we're using that money to give to the Bob's Hunger Program so that they can feed their hungry kids. Coordinators of the first Lego League say this group of builders is doing exactly what they intended. We were bringing art back into STEM and calling, you know, bringing back STEAM. Uh, uh, on your feet, we're the rebels that help kids eat. Reporting in Brevard County, Esther Bauer, Fox 35 News. How awesome is that? Well, this team and Bob the Bot have created 24 paintings for them already sold. The prices range from $20 up to 100 and they'll be on display until February.